So Akasha, Akasha actually means space. Space or something that is so wide, so expansive like a sky. Akasha here does not mean the space between you and me only. Does not mean intercelestial space. Does not only mean intergalactic space. It does not mean all these things. Akasha is the space even between the two atoms. Two molecules. Okay. It's the elementary fundamental space or the emptiness. Rather I would use the word as emptiness. Which binds any other object. Any other of the things with it. So it's that binding object. Binding feature. Binding element. So then we know that manifestation is 0.000001% of all that is unmanifest. Right? Scientists tell us. Science has proven this thing. That all that you see, the visible part of the universe is just a very minuscule, very minute percentage of all that is not visible, all that is unmanifest. That's the reason we call it Akasha. Because it is the most expansive thing. Now to your physical eyes, this sky up outside is what looks like something very expansive. Nowhere if you see right or left or wherever you see, all you see is a sky. It's so wide and expansive. So people refer to Akasha as a sky, it is not. People refer to Akasha as a space, it is not. It's that unmanifest element which actually is the binding force for all that is manifested. You have, you are also, this physical body, this subtle body, all this whole thing. You also have Akasha in between. So some part of you is also a space of full of emptiness. You are also full of emptiness. Only your total existence all that you see as manifest is hardly a very minuscule, very minute amount or percentage of all that you do not see. 